all COVID-19 travel restrictions removed in the UK. This is one of the best news I've heard in months coming from the travel world. Yes, you heard right. England to scrap COVID-19 tests and passenger locator form. Travelers arriving in England from abroad after 4 a.m. on Friday, 18th of March 2022, no longer need to take any COVID-19 tests before they travel or after they arrive, nor fill in a UK passenger locator form. The new rules apply regardless of whether the traveler is vaccinated or not. Travelers will also not need to quarantine when they arrive. So, literally speaking, travel is fully back in the UK. Isn't that a good news? This was disclosed in a travel abroad advisory on the UK government websites. And it also applies to those traveling to Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. According to the site, from 4 a.m., government will remove the remaining COVID-19 international travel restrictions for all passengers as from 4 a.m. Friday, 18th of March, 2022. No one entering the United Kingdom will need to take tests or complete a passenger locator form. Remaining managed hotel quarantine capacity will be fully stood down from the end of March, making the United Kingdom one of the first major economies to end all COVID-19 international travel rules. But let me read further and you understand the reason why they say they have removed all these protocols because there was a reason. The Transport Secretary Grant Sharps said, The UK is leading the world in removing all remaining COVID-19 travel restrictions. And today's announcement is a testament to the hard work everyone in this country has put in place to roll out the vaccine and protect each other. I said we wouldn't keep travel measures in place for any longer than necessary, which we are delivering on today providing more welcome news and greater freedom for travelers ahead of the Easter holidays. I look forward to continuing to work with the travel sector and partners around the world to keep international travel moving. Sajid Savid, the Health and Social Care Secretary, also said, as we learn to live with COVID-19, we are taking further steps to open up international travel once again ahead of the Easter holidays. We will continue monitoring and tracking potential new variants and keep a reserve of measures that can be rapidly deployed if needed to keep us safe. We can remove those final restrictions thanks to the incredible success of our vaccination program, which has seen more than 8 out of 10 adults across the UK boosted. To ensure the protection of public health, the government will maintain a range of contingency measures in reserve, which will enable it to take swift and proportionate action to delay any further harmful variants of COVID-19 entering the UK should the need arise. In future, the government's default approach will be to use the least stringent measures, if appropriate, to minimize the impact on travel as far as possible. Given the current state of the pandemic and a move towards global travel volumes returning to normal, the remaining managed hotel quarantine capacity will be fully stood down from the end of March. Let me now read all the release because it's quite long. Anyway, this is a very great news. I'm very elated because as of last week, last week still saw unvaccinated passengers having to make a dash for their PCR test and the ones that are fully vaccinated having to show or download their vaccination application on their phone. Fill a locator form online before you're allowed to travel. So now, for those of you that want to travel to the UK or have plans to travel for Easter holiday, I wish you a happy holiday in advance. Have fun while you're out there. But remember, in as much as they said they've removed all the protocols, the mask mandate is still in place because they did not put it down there. So make sure that you have your mask and also link to social distance because we are learning to live with COVID-19. So I'm going to leave the link for you in case if you want to read it up. Thank you all for watching. My name is Adachi, which Bye-bye.